seen from the air after the atomic bomb blast that virtually erased this city of 340,000 people from the earth. As far as the eye can see, stretch scenes of desolation and ruin. Four square miles leveled by one bomb, the product of allied science and a climactic answer to the terror and aggression let loose upon the world by Japan. There was no direct hit, no gaping crater. Exploding in the air above this former Japanese army deployment center, the first of the two atomic bombs used against Japan caused this area of destruction. Only a few isolated structures still standing. Nagasaki, target for the second atomic bomb. Just three days after Hiroshima, this explosion was concentrated in an area of one square mile, destroying its selected terrain even more completely. Osaka, city of three million, is burned out by fire bombs that raised scores of square miles. Scenes like these leave no doubt that Japan was thoroughly beaten before the atomic bomb. Kure, Japanese arsenal city and site of the empire's largest naval base. In its harbors lie the disabled remnants of a once powerful fleet. Japanese sea power smashed beyond repair in a succession of defeats by the American Navy. Another evidence of the enemy's final inability to wage war. first pictures from inside Japan's devastated capital. Tokyo, three quarters wiped out by the superfortress attacks long before the atomic bomb. A city which once held six and a half million and was to have been the capital of all Asia now lies in ashes. Inside the Emperor's Palace, almost wholly untouched in the American bombings, a few Japanese subjects worship. Overhead, American planes patrol. A few miles from this garden spot stands one of the foulest of Japanese prisoner of war camps, Ofuna. From the filth and mistreatment they endured here, these American soldiers are now free. The former jailers bow to the departing prisoners. A long, bitter period of suffering is over. Victory for them means home again.